UMS flow well. Performance under pressure. The UMS flow well bypass tubing clamp is designed to provide full protection to the ESP MLE cable, control lines, and injection lines. The clamp ensures the bypass tubing is secure for installation and in line for through tubing intervention once at setting depth. The clamp is manufactured using a high quality investment casting process. The design has been optimized to ensure that adequate fluid flow can easily pass the clamp. The clamp provides the maximum amount of standoff between the ESP assembly and the casing to provide protection to the ESP. The bypass clamp has adjustable jaws for gripping the ESP neck. The clamp incorporates cast gripping features throughout the design. Fitting bypass inserts converts the clamp for utilization with smaller bypass tubing sizes. Articulated universal cable clips are located at either side of the clamp. Their design allows different MLE cable sizes to be gripped while still maintaining a grip on the discharge pressure line. Deployment To open the clamp, we must first gain access to the main clamp bolt by opening the MLE cable clip. Back off the main clamp bolt and open the clamp to allow fitment onto the ESP neck and bypass tubing. With the clamp in position, close the clamp. Retighten the main clamp bolt to the required torque. Tighten the insert blocks onto the ESP neck to the required torque. The clamp design allows it to maintain a constant grip on a one quarter discharge pressure line. The one quarter inch discharge pressure line is located into position as shown. Here we see the MLE cable. The MLE cable is located into the clip as shown. Close the articulated clip and tighten the bolts to the required torque to retain and secure the MLE cable and discharge pressure line. The bypass tubing clamp is robust and reliable and is available in both low alloy steel or 13 chrome material options with Inconel bolting as standard. For more information about the bypass tubing clamp, please contact sales at umsflowwell.com or visit our website.